Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace back again with another video. I'm sure you've noticed that this is a vlog. I used to do quite a number of vlogs. Those of you who have been with me for a long period of time will remember that I did a lot of vlogs. And I also did a lot of shout out videos, but there were a small percentage of people who were watching my videos that were actively um, vocalizing their um, dislike of the fact that I was doing so many vlogs, so many shout out videos, and the vlogs I was doing they had no interest in watching and blah blah blah. Well as you can tell I've decided to uh, reinstitute vlogs. Uh, those older vlogs by the way aren't on my channel anymore. After all of these complaints and everything. I took down all of the vlogs that I had done. I took down all of the shout out videos I had done. I took down all of the videos that um, didn't pertain primarily to video games and package videos. I took down everything else and I must have, well I deleted well over uh, 200 videos from my channel and from my hard drive because my hard drive was getting full. I had a um, relatively small hard drive back then and it was so full that I couldn't uh, record videos because my computer wasn't able to do any swapping of files. But this computer has two hard drives a 500 gigabyte hard drive and a one terabyte hard drive. So I shouldn't run out of space for quite a long time. Even though I've got six or seven or eight thousand songs in there and all the videos that I've done that I ha didn't delete. Anyway, I'm sure you've noticed the title of this vlog um, concerns the paranormal. Prior to a certain date and a particular uh, incident that happened to me, I had zero interest in the paranormal. Yes, in the 70s I did see one movie on UFOs, a documentary from an outfit called Sun Classics. But this was only because starting from the age of when I could walk myself to a theater till the time that I got married I was seeing two and sometimes three movies every week and um, that's how I saw my first Woody Allen movie. We were living in Germany at the time. I took a streetcar to, well, I don't remember the German word, but I took a streetcar to a little small theater and they were running Sleeper. So. Um, I really thought that was a funny movie and plus which I kind of fell in love with Diane Keaton uh, but then back then everyone was falling in love with Diane Keaton anyway um, I saw a lot of movies um, that you probably would be surprised that I saw um, Corvette Summer with Mark Hamill um, all of those films from Sun Classics, like In Search of Historic Jesus, which I have on Laserdisc, and there was one on Noah's Ark, and there was one on The Shroud of Turin, and there was one on The Loch Ness Monster. And I saw all these films because I was going to the movies so often. I even went and saw You Light Up My Life with Debbie Boone, and um, One on one, uh, with, what was his name? Robbie Benson. I was seeing everything back then. I mean, it, when it came out, I went and saw it. it um, they didn't have multiplexes back then, but we were living in Renton at the time, which is a suburb of Seattle. And um, there was a huge UA, United Artists, twin theater there. And, uh, well, I can I go to other stories about that because uh, 
that uh, particular theater led to some incidents, but um, I'll save that for another video. The incident that I mentioned earlier, where everything changed, was when I was in my late 20s. Now, I've talked about this before, so I won't go into it with any great detail, but I was in a uh, car accident. Not a fender bender. I was setting, waiting for the oncoming traffic to clear so that I could turn into the parking lot of a strip mall or mini mall. Uh, I don't know what they call them in other countries, but strip malls are these outdoor malls um, that are shaped like a strip. Anyway, um, I was going in there because at the time Jacksonville had a huge comic book shop and it was located there and um, I got to be really good friends with the owners um, so when this accident happened and um, I instantly couldn't see I had what felt like a uh, bolt of lightning shoot up my spine and while I wasn't crying, my eyes had filled up uh, with so much uh, fluid, uh, I could not see. It was just a murky nothing. But I could hear at the window the sound of this kid saying, Oh, please be all right. Please be all right. Tell me you're okay. You know, that sort of thing. Um underage driver with a learner's permit but not a driver's license out joy riding in his parents Cadillac and he plowed into the back of my car and um, it took me a while to connect the dots but uh, after that I started having a lot of problems I immediately had problems with my neck and my spine but they took x-rays and they said well there's no sign of any arthritis but it will develop trust us and uh, it'll get worse and worse over time and sure enough when it first was spotted um, sometime later it was barely noticeable so where now it is severe and it goes all the way from the base of the spine into my neck but I also started having migraines and then I started having tremors which I have to take medication for and a lot of other things and as I said I didn't connect the dots right away but all of these things health wise started happening after that accident the brain does not like to be shook that way anyway the owners of this comic book shop uh, well, the uh, the guy was a husband and wife who owned it. Uh, he came out, and uh, he, I wouldn't call nine one one. I don't even remember if nine one one existed back then. I didn't call the police or anything um, because um, I couldn't tell that there was any damage to my car. Not that I could do a lot of searching. The pain had started to ease off and I was walking around the car and I was looking under the car and so forth. And I was getting movement in my neck again. And uh, I wrote down the kid's uh, learner's permit number, his name, address, license plate number off the car, um, I even uh, wrote down the VIN number off his car, which is redundant because N and VIN stands for number, vehicle identification number. Anyway, flash forward a few years, I started having some paranormal experiences, um, a lot of different kinds of paranormal experiences. And it finally got to the point, and they were happening so frequently, that I decided to do some research on it. And so I started buying a lot of books on the paranormal. 
But let me reiterate, this was after I had been having the um, paranormal experiences, not before. Um, one of the things that happened to me um, that kind of put me in a state of shock momentarily. I had, uh, was not feeling well and I went to lay down on the bed and I placed my head down on the pillow with my right ear upward and I hadn't been in bed long. I had been in bed long enough to where my brain wasn't constantly babbling. How I think is the way I talk. So, it never shuts up, but occasionally it does shut up my mind. And there's not this constant uh, going on and on and on about nothing. Uh, and I had this brief pause where I wasn't thinking about anything. And I heard in my ear a female's voice, a very pleasant sounding female, I might add. And what was she saying? Well, she was saying, Mark, 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 Mark. And as this was going on, I was thinking, am I hearing what I think I'm hearing? Mark, Mark, Mark. And I got up and stopped. So that's really weird. After I did some research on it, well, one uh, author said that it was, uh, that's how uh, spirits on the other side or in heaven or however you want to put it, communicate um, with uh, people that they're looking over or after uh, on earth. Uh, they say your name because that is what is easiest to get through. Um, but I did hear it plain as day. Mark, 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 Mark. And um, I was not asleep. Trust me, I know when I'm asleep and I was not asleep. Uh, flash forward a little bit. I was standing in the kitchen right over there and I looked in the refrigerator to see what there was to eat and I wasn't seeing anything that appealed to me and then I thought I heard something outside so I looked out the kitchen window. Now I'm going to demonstrate on the front of my shirt because I'm not a contortionist so I can't demonstrate on the back of my shirt but as I was standing there looking out of the window to see what the noise was I felt this. Now, it wasn't the wind or anything like that. For one thing, it was in the house. Uh, but it would have been something like that if it was wind. But it was... Well, naturally, after I got over the initial shock, I turned... Nothing. So I went back and looked, started looking outside the window again to see what I could see, and... Turn around. Nobody there. Sometime later, I was at uh, our financial institution, and I was in line. I was the last one in line. When I opened the door to go in, uh, I did feel as if there was someone right behind me. Normally, when that happens, I stop and I pull and hold the door for them. It doesn't matter whether they're a woman or a man or whatever. It's just common courtesy. If I sense somebody behind me or hear somebody behind me, I open the door for them. And I hold it until they go through it. Well, I opened the door and held it, and there was nobody there. Hmm. So I walked in and got in line. And as I said, I was the last one in line. But I still had this strong sense that there was somebody behind me. But I hadn't heard anybody come in. I hadn't seen anybody come in. 
And as I was pondering all this, on the back of my shirt, I turned. Nothing. Mm-hmm. A few moments later. Now, I had just turned around a few seconds earlier. And I didn't want to look like I was a nut or something. But some of you probably think I am by now. Um, so I was trying to decide, well, how can I look without it appearing as if I'm looking at nothing? Then, so as nonchalantly as I could, I kind of did this to look out, pretending I was looking out the window to look at my car or something. Nobody there. Now, my wife has had a similar experience to that. She recently lost an uncle that she was very close to. Now, my wife, when she was younger, uh, in her early tw 20s or late teens, I can't remember how old she said she was, she saw a ghost. And it was a ghost. Um, it was later it turned out to be, um, from her description, the ghost of her grandmother's uh, father a grandfather or something she wanted to seem really bad but she had never seen this ghost but everybody else in her family had including my wife uh, but at different times and at different places and in different countries um, she lived in England for a long time when they were living in England uh, people were seeing this ghost and describing uh, what the person looked like and and why can't I see this? ever see this ghost? She was the one who wanted to see the ghost and couldn't. Everybody else was seeing this ghost at particular times, various times, various places, um, but she wasn't. But anyway, uh, she was very close to uh, my wife, this uncle. And uh, so she uh, would go over every week and spend some time with him. Uh, he had had a head injury from a motorcycle accident and also he had gotten into a bar fight and somebody kicked him with, with the sh uh, shoes that had like a uh, steel tip or whatever kicked him right in the head and anyway after those two incidents he was bipolar and there weren't a lot of people he could handle. He couldn't handle more than a, one or two people at a time uh, without, I have to go, I have to leave. Um, but my wife got along very well with him and so she was the one in their family who always uh, uh, visited with him. Uh, she liked him, he liked her, and um, all that they would watch movies together and she took care of all of his chores like um, running to the bank and um, shopping and that sort of thing so needless to say when he died she was very upset now with me I knew him too because even though he didn't take to me initially because supposedly I reminded him of an ex-wife's husband and uh, he didn't get along with this person and so he wasn't comfortable around me but he got to the point where he was and um, I don't know whether this has any bearing on where I'm going or not but my wife has been going over to the house uh, his house um, trying to uh, decide what to do with everything and um, she was going through his videotapes and as she was looking through the videotapes hmm I wonder if Mark would be interested in these when as soon as she thought that so I did that on her the back of her shoulder pushed her hard like that of course, that kind of freaked her out. Um, 
but she didn't know whether to interpret it to mean it was Jack saying, no, don't give those to Mark, or, hey, I'm here. You know, um, pay attention. But anyway, um, she's had those experiences. Uh, I've had a lot more experiences. There goes a black cat. I wonder if it could be all the black cats we have. Hmm. Anyway, um, another incident that I had, well, I've had several and I don't want this video to be too long, so I'll save uh, the other experiences that I've had with the paranormal into a, until a subsequent video. I also plan on uh, touching on some um, near-death experiences that I've had in my life, um, plus... Um, as I've mentioned several times, uh, grew up all over the country and plus lived in France and Germany and when we lived in those two countries we traveled extensively throughout Europe and uh, the Scandinavian countries. Uh, the Hague has a lot of museums. Anyway, um, I, I can talk about that. I can talk about my experiences uh, working in television. I spent 25 years working in television at the local level, uh, but I met a lot of celebrities. And I've met celebrities outside of the field of television. Out, I should say, while I wasn't working in television. That's not right either. I was working in television, but I wasn't at work. Well, that sounds convoluted, but anyway, um, and I've had so many experiences that were highly embarrassing. I've been trying to decide whether I should cover those or not. Some of them were so embarrassing that I probably won't touch on those, but there are some that are rather humorous that um, I've kind of gotten over, so I could talk about those. And if there's anything else you would like for me to talk about, um, such as um, video games, um, Disney World, we go to Disney World so often it's not funny, um, anything at all, just leave a comment and uh, I'd be happy to uh, give that some consideration. DJ Donald here with his two turntables. Wife picked me up this t shirt on a trip she made to Disney World, leaving me behind because, uh, for health reasons, I couldn't go that, that particular trip. But in any event, until next time, stay awesome. Didn't delete. Anyway, I'm sure you've noticed the title of this vlog um, concerns the paranormal. Prior to a certain date and a particular uh, incident that happened to me, I had zero interest in the paranormal. Yes, in the 70s, I did see one movie on UFOs, a documentary from an outfit called Sun Classics. But this was only because, starting from the age of one of the shout-out videos I had done, I took down all of the videos that um, didn't pertain primarily to video games and package videos. I took down everything else and I must have, well I deleted well over uh, 200 videos from my channel and from my hard drive because my hard drive was getting full. I had a um, relatively small hard drive back then and it was so full that I couldn't uh, record videos because my computer wasn't able to do any swapping of files. But this computer has two hard drives, a 500 gigabyte hard drive and a one terabyte hard drive. So I shouldn't run out of space for quite a long time. Even though I've got six or seven or eight thousand songs in there and all the videos that I've done that I had dislike of the fact that I was doing 
so many vlogs, so many shout out videos, and the vlogs I was doing, they had no interest in watching, and blah blah blah. Well, as you can tell, I've decided to uh, reinstitute vlogs. Uh, those older vlogs, by the way, aren't on my channel anymore. After all of these complaints and everything, I took down all of the vlogs that I had done. I took down all of. Hello, YouTubers. This is Cessna Ace back again with another video. I'm sure you've noticed that this is a vlog. I used to do quite a number of vlogs. Those of you who have been with me for a long period of time will remember that I did a lot of vlogs. And I also did a lot of shout out videos, but there were a small percentage of people who were watching my videos that were actively um, vocalizing their um, 